And when you've got a little fryer, say a countertop fryer, if you haven't got a huge amount of space, um, you've got a small amount of oil. Now, that doesn't take a huge amount of time to heat up, but it also doesn't hold heat very well. And if you put cold food into it, the temperature of the um, oil will drop very dramatically because there isn't enough latent heat to counteract the cold food going into it. This means that you are constantly, when you put food in, the temperature of the oil goes down, the thermostat on the fryer will go, oh, I need to heat up the oil, and you'll spend a load of electricity getting it back up to temperature before the food really starts to cook properly. Now, in larger fryers, because you've got a large body of oil, it holds more latent heat. So when you put cold food in there, yes, there will be a dip, but it won't be as much because the latent heat in the rest of the body of oil will counteract it. And that means that your thermostat doesn't kick in for so long and your element isn't actually heating the oil for as long. So actually, over time, the more oil you have in your fryer, the less energy your fryer uses. 